Wow, we've got something new in here from who else? Vivor. They have so many different things. And this little package here was, I have never seen one before. And I, I didn't even, in fact, I didn't even know they existed, I guess. But this uh, will lift 10,000 pounds or five ton. Yeah, and that's not just, that's just part of it. Basically, this is a complete, I'm broke down with my car, my truck, or my heavy service truck, whatever, on the side of the road. And I need to do something about a tire. And this is the whole package right here. And it's, yeah, it's kind of heavy, but we're gonna open this up and take a look at the features. It is, it's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, so Fever starts with a, a car jack system. It's electric, but it also includes uh, sockets, an impact gun, you know, like everything you need on the side of the road for the, the big bad flat tire day. Uh, at the back of this, I guess you could even put this out by the highway somewhere and maybe have the reflector showing so that you're, you're broke down or whatever. Uh, there's also Velcro right here so that when you put this in like the trunk of your car, truck, whatever, it won't, you know, it won't find itself rolling around back there. Not that we drive that fast in the U.S., right? Mm, yeah. So, let's get her open, because the very first question I've got, and i got a tape measure right here, is this. And it's a compressor. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on. And, yeah, it's heavy. Oh, it's still nicely packed, too. But there's the first part of the jack. You can see that includes a flashlight. Uh, it's got a lot of switches and stuff on it, really cool. But it also has a compressor. So you can air up the tire. And uh, really the very first thing I want to see is where does this end up at this point or what height do we start at? And I'm just going to put the tape measure on it right now and just see where we're at. But uh, she's at, uh, okay, she's around six and a quarter inches to the height right here. But when I electrically run this, I'll see if I can get it down lower or up higher. And also, you know, how high does it go? I mean, that's really the first thing we need to know. Now it comes with a really nice long uh, cord here. We'll try this one first and see how this works because there is some other optional uh, features here that we'll get into. And the very first thing I want to do is plug this thing in and run it up and down and just see how it does. Now we're going to connect the uh, 12 volt power. Oh, okay. It. Uh, this is a real odd item because I, I honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, I have never seen one before. So. Yeah, I was like, it does what? <laughs> yeah, okay. There's a number. There's a. This is actually a, an interesting and well thought out kit because it even comes with a pair of gloves. Uh, we don't. Hopefully, won't need those right now. Okay. There's the. Wow. It's got a light under here and a light out the front, so you can actually see what your jack is running into. Uh, compressor. as low as it goes and then we have a screw lift here so I'm going to try to uh, raise it up okay we're all the way up with the extension screw on here uh, we've got a total height of whoo -hoo, 18 inches now we'll take the screw all the way down and we'll just say that that's a baseline or something we'll start there Nice screw jack. Uh, I can see this being used to take a few dents out of some of those uh, Toyotas I see around town runs sometimes. But okay, without the screw, we've still got a good looks like about I'm gonna say 14 and a half inches in height. So that's really cool. Now we'll take it down. Down on its own. Oh yeah. Okay, we're all the way down now, and we're back down to. We'll just check the clearance, and I think the uh, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, about six, and I'm going to say almost a quarter of an inch total in height right here. I don't think you can get any lower. It has a nice pad right there. Oh, wow, it's a rubberized pad to grip so it won't slip and slide around too much either, which is kind of cool. Uh, this light thing here is really cool. It's a little flashlight at the front so you can you know see your way around But also just lean it over it has a little light up here Which will flash up so if you're looking underneath the car truck whatever for the axle and I got grease all over my finger Okay, when we come back. Yeah, I guess that's what the gloves were for right? <laughs> yeah. 
Now, we'll shut the light off and we also have a compressor. Now the compressor goes up to, looks like about 100 pound. And there's a nice little compressor gauge here so we can uh, I don't know if you can hear that very well compared to what I can hear, but actually it's not that bad. Usually these compressors are, you know, on these small units like this are horrible. This one actually sounds really good. <laughs> wow. So let's put that aside. For, I got more grease on me. Put that aside <laughs> for a second. Here's the next tool that's in that box. All right. Yeah, so we get there we go. And it's yeah, it's kind of a weird looking uh, impact gun. It almost looks like something you stir your margarita with, but uh, yeah. It's a little half inch drive impact gun. Again, got a little light on the front here. And you got uh, L and T, which would be uh, loosen and tighten. <laughs> now, who thought of that? <laughs> so we'll unplug for a second here, and we'll plug this in. And let's see, here we go. Yep, so we can... Uh, Ugh, there we go. So now we've got Wow, and it comes with two sockets. Now the sockets are Millimeter of course, of course all the cars out there. I guess pretty much are anyways These are the two most common size wheel nuts So chances are with a car truck or whatever you might have to carry something specialized for your own vehicle or whatever But we've got a 17 millimeter and a 20 23 millimeter so just for the giggles, I guess I will... Oh! Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. No, no. Oh, boy. They thought this one out. Okay, so we've got 21 millimeter on this end. And on the other end, it's a... Okay, 21 and 23. So we've got actually a socket and a socket. Isn't that smart? You can't trust anything anymore, can you? Oh, boy. Alrighty. So now we've got a 19 and a, seven, and a 17. Okay. Because there's a socket on each end, and then of course this goes up in like that, and then yeah, so that will break the wheel nuts loose, or my hand, <clears throat> yeah. And let's try the big one here for a second. Same thing. We'll hold on to it. And... Ooh, wow, that really smacks hard. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so. That's going to get your wheel nuts off if you need to. Also, you've got your compressor to fill the wheel back up with air. And then there's some more goodies. Besides the gloves, yeah. And now this one here is in here, and this is something that uh, I don't think we'll try it, but uh, if you need to break the glass or cut something like a seat belt, this is one of those escape things from the car if it goes underwater or something. I don't know why they've got it in here because this is something you'd keep in like a dashboard or a console of your car or something because you can break the glass if your seatbelt's stuck and you can't get it there's a knife right there so you can sort of like cut the you know seatbelt off kind of thing to escape the car but uh, it's in here yeah it's kind of a I guess we'll call that an extra accessory also if you don't have a cigarette lighter plug which is what I'm showing here they also have a little kit with this that Let's see if I can get it out of the box here. It's well packed, yeah. And it's a cigarette lighter plug with a pair of cables. So you can hook onto your car battery and plug it in there. If your car has a 12 volt battery supply at the front. And the reason I'm saying that is mine doesn't. <laughs> but it has cigarette lighter plugs, so we're good, you know. But yeah, it's a hybrid and battery somewhere underneath the back seat or something. And uh, at the front of the car, there's really no indicators to exactly where all that is. Now, to get these back in here is almost impossible, apparently, because I don't know how they came out. Oh, here we go. Maybe. Yeah, let's see if we can. Anyway, that sits in the corner here. And we have, of course, a nice usual from Vibor instructions. Always got some manual instructions that, you know, you can read up if uh, <clears throat> you have some questions about what's happening here. This is, oh, and look at this flashlight thing, and that's on the whole time. That is a weird, weird feeling, but it works. <laughs> that gets a heck of a smack. Let's see if we can unplug it now. Yep, there we go. And all this packs up in this nice little case so that we can uh, carry this in the back of our car, like I said, our car, our truck, whatever. 
that height is pretty amazing. Uh, really was surprised. Now, the low profile end of it was, that was really where I guess my question was because I didn't know. Uh, it was like, is it four inches? Is it six? What is it? And it is six, and I'm gonna say just a little over six. Six and a quarter would be, you know, if you had to go check your truck or whatever for your axle or something, you know, about six, six and a, make sure you got that range so that you can use something like this. But how handy is that? And just hit the switch and sit there and lift the car up up to uh, quite a bit of height. And uh, again, this is something that Vibor sells. Vibor has just so much different different things that they offer. And a lot of times they offer stuff like this that you just you just don't think of Vibor and you go, wait a minute, whoa, they carry this thing. Wow, it is cool. And the uh, cord for the uh, cigarette lighter plug, very important. You've got, uh, I think, Actually, I'm going to have to measure it and tell you, because I think it's, it should be about between, I'm going to say between 15 and 20 feet of cord by the looks of it. There is a lot of cord here. Uh, <laughs> wow. That's got to be, I'm going to say 15. Yeah. So I'm going to say between 15 and 18 feet of cord, roughly, without actually laying a tape measure on that. It's long. And if your car is like, or truck is like mine, you have cigarette lighter plug jacks at the back, at the front, you know, all over the place on the car. So it's like you just plug it in wherever you need it. What a cool item. This is crazy. But how cool is that? <laughs> just... <clears throat> now, the uh, compressor shows that it goes up to 150 pounds. I don't think we'll ever need that. Yeah but it does go to 150 pounds on the gauge. And all your compressor stuff is nicely fit in here. So all your, your hose and all your little fittings for compressor is all in there, plus uh, some spare fuses for whatever reason, and a small Allen key. I'm not quite sure what all that's about. Wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's have a look at the end of this thing. Oh yeah, yep, for real. You can actually screw this into a valve and actually hook onto it. Wow, we, they really try to think of, I guess they try to think of everything when they're doing this stuff. Uh, they also have, let's see if I can get the hose out here for a second. They also have some, uh, I guess we'll call them uh, nozzles like this, tips for air. I don't know what you'd use that for, but you could blow something off with it, I guess. Now, let's see if we can, and also if your basketball is low on air, uh, there's a valve in here where you can refill the basketball, you know, football, whatever. Strange. I know. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, strange. Anyways, let's see if we can coil that back up. Get that back inside. Oh, I see they've got a, hmm, nice, nice. Now, on this side, we have another compartment, but this compartment is where your electrical connection is, which was just sitting here. But you could probably wind up that entire cable I've got here and probably, you know, stuff it in there to make it fit. I'm sure you could, 12 volt. But uh, it's not that heavy. It's not bad. I was The whole case is heavy, but then you've got several different tools with you. But isn't that from Vivor? Isn't that? Okay, a couple of, couple of quick notes. Always put wheel chocks under the tires of the car when you're going to lift it with something like this. Otherwise, you could get into some other problem. Although, this is pretty stable, but no, it's not it's just not safe. Uh, the other thing, too, was there's a switch here for up and down on the uh, jack. But there's also a switch here for compressor and jack. So, you have to switch the jack on, and then you can use the up or down, you know, switch for going up and down. Okay, it's uh, thunder, lightning, and heavy rain outside, so we're not gonna go out and play with this thing. I was intending on putting it, putting the car on it, but the reason for that was actually to see how much power this thing actually draws when it's lifting. And, but we've got it rated here in the manual, so I'm gonna trust the manual today because of the lousy weather. God. <laughs> it's rated up to 180 watts. At rated current at 15 amps so yeah it's fused at 15 also there's a little rubber button right here that you can pop to release any extra pressure left over in the compressor to unload it if you need to the uh, lifting range is 100, 155 millimeter to 455 millimeter yeah why do we even bother right yeah the uh, minus 15 to 50 50 C Celsius which is a huge range in temperature so 
cool. Uh, weight 4.8 kilograms again. Uh, whatever that is. Okay, so that's really, at least for that part of it, that's really what I wanted to know. The uh, tire inflator or the uh, compressor part of it is actually a lower 10 amp power. So it's rated, you know, 12 volt at 10, about 10 amps, about 120 watt, 130 watt, whatever. It's not very much, but the, the jack does run up to 180 watts. And that was something I wanted to test for, just see what the range was, but it's in the manual. So I guess we'll go with that today because the weather here in Southern Texas has been cold and now it's raining, blowing and yeah, thunder and lightning. This is the middle of the, this is like noon. Look, look at it, it's black out there. <laughs> Yeah, so we're not doing solar today. <laughs> now, the next thing we know I've tried is one more little question here, I guess, on my mind and maybe on yours, is to see if we can store that cable in here. I think we can. Let's try it. Wow, not bad, not bad. Uh, I didn't think it was going to fit at some point there. It was like, oh, that's a lot of cable, but it actually, it's a little tight, but you can store there we go the whole thing in here so let's see if I can get that closed now there we go and now we've got the cable and everything all in one piece so that's that's really cool a, a link will be provided in the description below where you can find this kit I'll also provide a link where you can find those wheel chocks just an affiliated link with Amazon there which uh, yeah we might provide a small commission if you somebody buys a set of wheel chocks I have them under my Jeep out in the shop right now but uh, just keep things in place. But the uh, this jack is, uh, I could see a couple of different uses for it besides just lifting a car or truck. Uh, I could see it using anytime you needed some pressure to push something apart or whatever. Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. And we got something we're going to give away. We need to get on that. Hey, how about Thursday we try to get that out of there because I've also got some more tools to give away. So we got to come back Thursday and do all that. That's just, that's just it. But hey, for Monday, Beaver electric car jack and impact gun kit. Wow, cool. I hope I never have a flat tire. Over and out. <laughs>